In this problem, we're giving this triple integral, which uh, has its limits of integration uh, fundamentally tied to a region of R3, which we're calling S. In this problem, we're asked to calculate the volume of S by calculating the triple integral, uh, to sketch the projected region R in the xy plane that S projects onto, and to sketch S, S itself. So we'll start by actually calculating the integral. Uh, we start from the innermost integral and proceed to the outer integrals. The inter integral is just integral of 1 dz, so 1 integrates to z. And we'll leave the outer integrals. So this is integral from 0 to 2, integral from 0 to square root of 4 minus x squared of z, which we evaluate from z equals 0 to z equals y dy dx. And so then this becomes y minus 0, and so we just have y. And so here we integrate y, and uh, by the opposite of the power rule for differentiation, we get y that y integrates to y squared over 2. So in the next mo innermost integral, So we have this expression, and so then y squared over 2 at the upper limit of integration becomes uh, 4 over 2 minus x squared over 2, and for y equals 0, it becomes 0. So if we take the difference of those and we get this. Now, uh, we use linearity of integration. Uh, 4 over 2 integrated dx becomes uh, 2 times x, and x squared over 2 integrated dx becomes x cubed over 6. At x equals 0, this will equal 0. At x equals 2, this will, this will equal 4, time, 4 minus 8 over 6. And so uh, we, that, that becomes 4 thirds, and 4 is 12 thirds. So in total, we have that. The volume of S is 8 thirds. And no, it's not in meters. So now we want to sketch the projected region R, which is a projection of S on the, onto the XY plane, and then to sketch the sketch edge, edge itself. So because, because X and Y are the outermost two limits of, uh, are the outermost two variables that are integrated, uh, the, the, the projection onto the xy plane will just be given by the limits of integration of x and y. So I'll erase some of my work here, give myself some space. And so we have from the outermost two limits of integration that 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2 and 0 is less than or equal to y, is less than or equal to 4 minus x squared. So to sketch r, we start by drawing our xy plane. We have that 0 is less than or equal to x, is less than or equal to 2. So our region is going to be between the y-axis and the vertical line where x equals 2. 
We also have that zero is less than or equal to y, so it's going to be in the first quadrant part of this band. If we look at y is less than or equal to 4 minus x squared, uh, we can manipulate this to get something which, is, which looks more familiar to us. Because the function that takes x squared to x is strictly increasing, if y is less than 4 minus x, if is less than 4 minus x squared, then the square of y is going to be less than the square of square root of 4 minus x squared. So this becomes And then we can add x to both sides and achieve, sorry, y squared plus x squared is less than or equal to 4. So this has to be inside the disk about the origin of radius 2 because 2 squared equals 4. And so this curve is where equals 4. So these are all the bounds on the region R in the xy plane, which corresponds to the whole of S. And this is the entirety of R. So now we need to sketch S. Give ourselves some room here. and draw, and break my chalk, draw the x, y, z space. So here, since we know that R is the projected region of S into the x, y plane, we can start by drawing R in the x, y plane, and we can know that S will have to be above, uh, above or below R everywhere that it is. So this is our quarter disk in the xy plane. So that's the bottom surface. That's going to be the bottom surface of S because, as we can see, S is bounded also by uh, 0 is less than or equal to z is less than or equal to y. So obviously the, the entirety of S has to be above the xy plane, so we know that this is the bottom. Then. Uh, because zero is le z is less than or equal to y, in the z y plane, the part of s that intersects with that is going to be underneath the line where z equals y, and it, it still has to be above the line where y equals two, because it has to be above r. And then It's hard to see, but all of R has to be below the plane where Z equals Y, That's, which is, the, which is the, um, the, the gliding of the line where Z equals Y along the X axis. And so, but everything else is fair game, so everywhere just goes, it, all part, the, the boundary of S just goes straight up from the boundary of R. And so, We have what it, what it basically is a horizontally and diagonally sliced part of a cylinder of radius two, um, or rather the 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 a a quarter of a cylinder uh, solid, of course, of radius two. And I'll erase some of my filling in to make the edges more clearly visible. S is going to look something like this.